computerized system validation was perceived by many companies to be a barrier to innovation, as, as I've mentioned. And this is certainly not what the FDA wants. Uh, and they saw that some of the practices in companies weren't actually reflecting um, current industry best practice, as def described in GAMP, for instance, but rather was reflecting a, a, a traditional paper work approach that was, that was developed decades ago, but had got ingrained and enshrined into the, into the industry and had never really moved on. Uh, so they were keen to help the industry to basically adopt good current IT practices, good current software engineering practices, and to truly adopt the principles in GAMP5, for instance, because GAMP5 has always been about risk management, um, critical thinking, and that's that's something that we're working even more on at the moment. Um, but it, it's all about doing the right thing and following good practices. So the FDA wanted to play their part in explaining to the industry that, listen, we're not the people holding you back here. This is a self-inflicted um, tradition, as it were, or a, a kind of inbuilt expectation. But we would rather that you focus truly on the quality of the product. And that's one reason why they chose this acronym, this name, CSA. They didn't, as, as uh, in a recent uh, ISB GAMP meeting, Cisco Vincenti, the program manager of the Case for Quality program, explained uh, they didn't you know, agonize for months about what they should call this. They just wanted a different label to make a clean break so that, it, that, that they were giving you know, a, a clear message. What you've done in the past for CSV, it, it's not necessary, it's not what we want. We want you to do modern things using modern tools, modern processes, modern techniques. And CSA was the, the name that they picked. And it's really about um, pointing out that this is, a, this is about catching up and a shift in thinking, uh, they're not saying, and we've defined this big complex thing called CSA that we want you to follow. They're basically saying CSA means follow GAMP, but follow GAMP truly to the spirit of risk management and critical thinking and drop all this baggage of unnecessary documentation. doesn't really matter what it's called. It's about protecting the patient and in the end, increasing the quality of the final product. So it's not as if they've defined something new, complex and difficult. Um, they just want the industry to truly adopt uh, current good practice and don't let uh, perceived regulatory inflexibility, which is not there, uh, affect and slow down adoption of new technology. CSA is a reminder, really, of the true objectives, uh, the true objectives of any validation and, and compliance activity associated with a computerized system is, uh, first of all, that it's fit for its intended use, that it's got to do the job, so it's got to meet requirements. Almost as, as a subset of that, it's got to meet any very specific regulatory requirements, of which there aren't a lot, to be honest, but there will be some specific regulatory requirements. So that first one means it's got to be fit for intended use. Secondly, it's got to be compliant, but we should be aiming for that baseline compliance anyway. That should be relatively easy. And the third one is that we've managed any residual risk to the patient and to the quality of the medicinal product uh, through, our, through our processes. So those are the three true objectives. And there's no reason we can't meet those three objectives just by following good practice, developing and configuring and implementing and, and delivering software like any other industry, um, using tools, using automation, doing things because they're the right things to do.